Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Sorry I look like I was hit by a dump truck. I didn't realize we were filming today and uh, yeah, here I am. We are gonna do a really quick video. I did wanna get it out for you guys. So it is the Ipsy versus Ipsy, our normal glam bags. I was, I don't know how they're gonna post, but we have already filmed the glam bag pluses and I was very disappointed with those. Obviously I was very disappointed with the Black Friday mystery bag. So Ipsy has been kind of like, mm, for me this month and that is unfortunate because at Christmas time I'm buying a lot of stuff and it would be nice to see like I was very pleasantly surprised with BoxyCharm and how quality that box was. I really love my FabFitFun so hopefully Ipsy can kind of redeem themselves with these particular bags but as you guys know how this works I have my mother's Ipsy and I have my own Ipsy right here. Yeah I'm just gonna open them up. I'm going to compare which one of us got a better uh collective bag so all the products in the bag together which one was better and then I'm going to assemble my ideal bag for uh, me based on what she got and what I got so that being said that's basically all we're going to do today uh, if you have not subscribed to the page go ahead and do that please it really helps us out because we're fun here and we do a lot of fun crazy things we always dive into my mother's bag first so I'm gonna open that one up and we're gonna see what she got before when, before when we would do it, she would open it up beforehand and look at her products. Recently, she has not been doing that. She has not looked in it. I'm sure she's probably looked at her spoiler, but uh, I don't know anything about what she's getting and I don't know anything about what I'm getting. The bag looks, I think, identical to the one that we got in the Glam Bag Plus. Unfortunately, um, I don't even know if the Glam Bag Plus was even a little bit bigger than this one or if it's just like the exact same bag. But I mean, it's a cute bag. I just, um, I like it when they do variations of a bag. Like the Betty Boop one I think is about the best they've done because they look very different. But um, like I said, it is a cute, just little reflective silvery bag. It is very wintry. I'm not complaining about that. And I do like the bag itself. I just, uh, comparatively to the Glam Bag Plus, I would like to see something different. But I think I'm just mad at Ipsy still about the Baruch and Turmeric thing. I really think that's what it is. And I'm just really bitter about that. So I'm just overly critical, but whatever. <laughs> Okay, so this uh, month is Shine On, which the bag definitely goes with that because it is a nice shiny bag. So that's kind of nice to see that they were able to play off that concept with their little baggie right there. Uh, but I did pull out two little uh, little tubies, little, little tubie men. And uh, the first one is a Skin Regimen Night Detox. It's an overnight pro vitality mask. My mom is not a huge mask person. However, I do think that this is something she might actually really like. It is supposed to give a rich massage texture and relieve the signs of stress, which I mean, I think everybody can use one of these, but she is somebody who's very um, focused on skincare and she wants to make sure that she can um, fight aging and you know discoloration as much as she possibly can. So I think this actually might be something that she will really like. I have never heard of the brand before, the Skin Regimen I believe is the brand. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little size. I would say you probably are gonna get two or three uses out of this. I think that's a nice little addition to the bag. The next thing she got is an Avet Fresh Clean Coconut Mild Foam Cleanser. I am a big um, fan of like milk-based cleansers, soy, a goat milk, a coconut milk. All of those, I really think that the moisture, I mean the moisture, it all has moisture. The milky properties, the hydrating properties that come from those kind of products really helps to uh, make my skin not feel attacked when I'm scrubbing it because a lot of times when I scrub, it winds up getting really red. As you guys know, I have very sensitive skin. So I think this for me is one that I would like. I'm not sure if my mom is going to like it or not. I think she's kind of like, mm, when it comes to cleansers, which I understand, but I don't think it's a bad product by any means. So we do have two skincare things as of right now. All right, I'm intrigued by this. So the next thing we have is from Phase Zero. I have received a blush from them this year. Um, but this appears to be a banana beige pressed eyeshadow. I don't know what banana beige means. Is it beige? Is it yellow? Is it like a banana powder? Who knows? <laughs> like, what are we gonna get here? Is it gonna be broken like my turmeric one, which I'm gonna bring up for the rest of forever? Who knows? So this is what it looks like. It's a nice little sized uh, eyeshadow, individual eyeshadow. And uh, oh, it's actually really pretty. My mom's gonna love this. So it's a very nice neutral. I don't know where the banana's coming from because there's not a lot of yellow in there, but whatever. Um, but it is like a nice little reflective kind of light golden shade. And it's something that my mother who really likes like neutral shades is going to really, really like. So yeah, I think that's like a nice asset for her to get in that. I don't know if I've received one or not, but um, it does kind of remind me of, we did do the mystery bags uh, for the neutrals and the skincare. It kind of reminds me of the, the one neutral glimmer shade that we got in the skincare one. So, but what is this? How do you, how does one, how does one pronounce this? Tipsia, tipsia, tip, tipsia, tip, 
I don't know. There's not enough vowels in this word. That's what I'm trying to get out here. I'm assuming it was something that was made specifically for Ipsy. Uh, I may not, I, that may be wrong. It may, it may be a totally different brand, but it is a, a, a lip crush lip oil. I'm not a fan of it. I'm just going to be 100% honest. I don't know how my mom's going to feel about it. Uh, I'm assuming it's probably like a mask for your lips or to try and give you some hydration on your lips. I can buy a chapstick at the drugstore for $1.99. So just going to say that. Yeah, all right. The final thing we got is from Tarte. I love Tarte, so I'm uh, excited about that. And it is an Amazonian clay 12-hour blush. I believe, if I recall correctly, this is what she chose because we do get to choose a product each time we um, we do the bag and the big box. So I believe this is the one she chose. And it is a very lovely shade. I do love Tarte blushes. I know I did not particularly choose this because I have quite a few Tarte blushes, and I believe I have this exact shade. So I opted to get something different. I don't remember what it is, but I think I will remember when I open my box because that normally happens. So I like four of her five products. Um, I think she will probably like at least three of her, her five products. Maybe more. I could be wrong. I may be underestimating it. The lip oil is kind of a throwaway in my opinion. So, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and, um, state my disappointment with that right now. Okay. Jumping into my bag now. Same bag. None changed there. Hmm. All right. So we'll start with this. It looks like I did get the same blush, which I know was not what I chose. I, I can promise that because I remember really debating it, knowing that I already had this blush, I believe in a, um, a different shade. Oh, actually, I did not get the blush. Okay, so I'm actually a little bit more excited then because um, I'm just, a, I jump to conclusions and I get angry for no reason. Uh, I got the Amazonian, uh, the bronzer, which I do like. This is from the uh, Park App Princess collection, which I actually have the full palette in that. I actually received the full palette in that from Boxy Lux, I believe last Boxy Lux, so like September's Boxy Lux. And um, I added that to the giveaway pile because I already had one full size one. So um, I am actually excited about that. I normally would probably consider giving this uh, as a giveaway item at some point, but because it is such a nice like travel size, I probably will keep this because I could easily throw this in like a bag when we're going on a weekend trip, which is coming up uh, in a couple months. I can throw this into my makeup collection and have a nice bronzer that I can use as my contour for the entire trip and not have to worry about running out. So that is actually something that I am uh, happy with and I love Tarte as a brand. So um, yeah, I'm not disappointed with that one at all. Okay, so I have, this actually might be what I chose. I, I'm i thinking it might be. So I got an H2O Beauty Oasis Hydrating Treatment and it is a water gel moisturizer. I like H2O Beauty a lot. And the reason I'm thinking that this is what I picked is because I remember I didn't pick a makeup product this time, which is very unusual for me. However, I was really dealing with, like we were first starting to get into the cold weather and it was really causing some negative effects on my skin. Uh, my hands and my face are some of the worst areas for me to like crack and bleed in different places um, today at work. Actually, my just from dry skin, my knuckle cracked, and so I had to wear gloves all day. It was terrible. So I believe that I chose this with the intention of I need this to help my skin during the winter season. I may be wrong. I might have just like gone on a rant about that for no reason. But this is actually something I'm really excited to receive. And like I said, I believe it is what I picked. So that is a nasty little product there. Uh, so we do have uh, another phase zero eyeshadow however mine is not the banana beige i have nude newbie so let's see what that one looks like um i do like the fact that we have gotten like technically two duplicate products but they've been actually different so on the surface they appear to be the same but really when you look at it they are different products i really appreciate that um that they are throwing in some variations in there i think that's one of the biggest issues with some of their bigger bags um oh god that's gorgeous okay so mine is a slightly pinker shade than what my mom got. Hers a little more golden, mine's a little more pink. I think I actually like mine better. I think they're both great. Uh, I actually would have probably been fine receiving either one of them. I would have been fine receiving both of them too. So those are actually really nice eyeshadows. And like I said, the pan size is actually pretty large. So that's a very nice asset to have in this. <laughs> I was wrong. This was not what I chose. So I ranted about that. I am glad I got that though. So um, it's not what I chose. However, I stand by everything I said about my dry skin cracked skin so now this it was a, a skincare product that i chose instead but it was the black gold sila supreme coffee scrub so this is actually an exfoliating cleanser that is uh made with coffee grounds 
that for me is a big thing. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but the, the caffeine in the coffee grounds actually really does a great job of not only getting in there and exfoliating and helping like dig out some of the impurities, but it also does a good job of like shocking your skin and giving it a little bit more of like a nice lifted look and a nice um, uh, collagen boosting kind of youthful rejuvenation to it. I actually, when we had our own apartment and I had room in my fridge, um, I would, I had like an individual coffee maker and I would actually save my coffee grounds and I would mix them with vegetable oil and then I would use it as like a deep cleansing body scrub, face scrub, whatever I wanted to use it for. I would like keep it in Tupperware in our fridge. It was, a, it was a mess every time I used it because the shower would literally just have coffee grounds everywhere. It'd take me like 10 minutes to clean it out. But I really liked the beautiful effects that it had on my skin. It's really good for like cellulite and things like that as well. So I, um, I opted to get the, the coffee scrub because I have missed that and I thought it would would be a nice thing to have as um as a nice little sample size i probably will actually use it for one of the skincare videos that i do we haven't done one in a while and i've gotten a lot of products that i would like to do for it so that would probably be something nice to test out for you all lovely people in our little uh, dark angel family now the last thing that we got is a lip color from belen argant and it is an amateur matte it's a pretty Pretty little box, nice and a very shiny. And my mother would absolutely hate it. I just can't say anything else. She would absolutely hate it. But actually for this season, I think it's something that I would not normally go for, but I'm going to get a good amount of use out of. So yeah, I'm a fan of that. I definitely like it a thousand times more than I like the lip oil that she received. So yeah. Um, okay, so now that we've seen all the products, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I would choose my ipsy as a whole over um my mother's just because everything that i got in mind i feel like i will use um that being said if i'm going to assemble i need to pull out her product if i'm gonna assemble my ideal bag i'm gonna cheat because i don't think that i would ever get two phase zero eyeshadows in one bag but you know what that's not what we're here to play we're here to assemble the perfect bag and my perfect bag would include both of those eyeshadows so we have one eyeshadow from each bag so that's two products right there. Um, I would choose my um, coffee scrub mask as well. So that's another one from my bag. I would choose um, the Tarte bronzer from my bag as well. And actually, if I'm really, really thinking about it, I'm probably gonna go ahead and choose that lipstick because I do think it is a very nice Christmas shade. So four of the products that are ideally what I would um, get would come from my bag. The H2O Beauty, the hydrating treatment, I love it, but I would actually trade that out for that banana beige eyeshadow from my mother's bag. So. Yeah, so that's how Ipsy looked this month. Um, I do like the regular glam bag better than I like what I got in my glam bag plus. I know when I ranted about that eyeshadow quad, I realized after we finished filming, that was actually what I had opted to get in the box. Like we were allowed to choose a customization option for that. And both mom and I chose that one. However, I had told her when I got the customization option email that I was unhappy with what they had given us as choices. I don't remember exactly what they were, but that was what I felt like was basically the best. It was like the, the shiniest piece of poop in the pile, if that makes sense. So that's why I had chosen that. And then when I received it, I was extremely disappointed with what it was as a whole. So yeah, um, I do feel like that this has been, uh, this has been one of the better things that they have given us recently. And I have high hopes that they'll kind of like re-stabilize because for a while I was really loving Ipsy. I was loving it a lot more than BoxyCharm and I feel like they've kind of gone like the, the past month or so. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps the page out a lot. And like I said before, if you haven't subscribed, definitely consider doing so. We have a lot of great videos already out and we have a lot more great content coming out very soon, including that uh, December 25th giveaway where we are going to announce a lot of really great things and a couple mystery presents that will be thrown in it as well. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.